Oh, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Demo Storm, and we're back into space. So I've been running and terraforming my two pink planets here. Put down a spice storage, and now they're both tier three. I'm trying to do the Terra Wrangler missions because that will get us better terraforming tools quicker. And these guys are pretty producing pink spice so fast and then I'm just selling it across the universe for a lot so that's why I have 1.7 mil really really nice but yeah we're doing pretty damn well and I got to terraform some more planets so I'm thinking we're doing well on pink spice are we producing green spice anywhere because we can two planets in one solar system would be fantastic I don't think we are Oh, we just need to heat this planet up. Just hit it with an asteroid. Might as well. Heat this place up! At the same time, raise the, the atmosphere using our atmosphere ray. I don't think we did that right. We should have let the planet heat itself up. And lower the atmosphere and do the atmosphere after the fact, but we're swinging it. So you can see the ground is like unfreezing, which is really cool. Yeah, we need to get like actual heat stuff going. Let's go buy actual heating. Um, just heat. We don't want to rig with the atmosphere. And what's cool is I can just fly over here and because we have so much money that we can just kind of yeah, buy these. Thank you. Also, while we're here, let's just repair and do those. Let's have a yellow one over there. I'm not too interested in yellow, though. We want to bring back the oceans to this planet and things like that. So let's see if we can kind of move the heat. Nope, it's no longer ice, it's water. Do it again. Just keep heating up this planet. It's super cold on this planet, and that's why we gotta heat it up. We're far away from our sun. We want to just get it inside that terraform. T1. Come on. Almost there. All right, we can definitely raise the, the atmosphere. Bring it right into T1. Perfect. Alright, this planet needs a lot of a lot of love. And always pick it up right after. We have four though, so we're okay there. There we go. Alright. We're going to pick you up after. And now we need a carnivore. Let's introduce the Indomitant Ark. There we go. It is now a stable ecosystem down there. We have deserts. <laughs> Not bad. Go talk to our buddies. They're just producing pink spice every single time we fly by. Really nice. Really nice. About two colonies. Come right back around. Let's get a colony on this planet. Alright, I don't think I'm going to make this one a tier 3. Basically, because I don't want to. <laughs> but yeah. Alright, we need entertainment. We also need a factory. A house there. A 
house there. Oh. House there. Terror score is too low. Should be fine. Thirty six an hour versus what? That's not bad. That way we're actually we're pulling something in here. That should be stable enough to stay tier one. It's really nice. Um but I'll show you guys like my my cash run right now. Basically, I found a planet buying pink spice for a good price. And then we have our pink spice production. Two planets doing pink spice with a spice storage up to 30. Everybody wants my money. And then we found this planet out here that wants to buy it for a crap ton. Or not max. I don't think it's max, but it wants to buy it for close to max, which is fine by me. Buying it for 46. Two million. Straight two million. Right there. And now we have a lot of money. So that, that allows me to terraform. What do you guys want? Under 75,000? Fine. Let's see. Yellow spice. What we can do is just terraform planets. Like, <laughs> if I want to. This one's T1. Nice. Tell your friends. <laughs> All right, let's see. What would this do? Oh, this is a really high atmosphere. Jesus. Oh. Yeah, that's not one of the planets we want to do. We want one with like a low atmosphere that I can just use my energy ray to bring into the atmosphere. When we need to heat up. I mean, I could go and buy the lower atmosphere tool. We should do that eventually. Let's just do it now. Um, you guys might be selling it for cheaper. I could also make an offer to buy the system. It's going to cost a lot. Because it's their home world. <laughs> oh, why am I going down? I didn't have to. Um, you do have the cloud rack. Thank you. Mega laser and things like that. If I wanted to, I could like buy all of this and run it to a world that wants red spice. Make a profit. Hopefully. Not. It's very hard to find a good profit on red spice, unfortunately. But it it has happened. My homeworld was buying it for like eleven thousand, and we produced that. So. And then just kind of do my spice runs. You guys want red spice? Profit. Easy. And then I can just... Bloop. And talk to this guy. We still have to head towards the center of the galaxy and get, you know, new stuff there. I don't want to spoil anything, but we have to go there. Gonna have to do it. And just make straight profit like that. Very, very easy profit, actually. Who are you guys? You're tier two. Needs to be cooled down. Well. You guys have 
<laughs> pooling. Ice storm. Buy both just in case. Might be able to turn this planet tier three. Which is fine. I mean, I'll take more tier threes in my empire. If it's as simple as cooling or heating, that's my favorite. That's an eco disaster. If you just pick them up after, you'll have a good time. You'll never have to really search. There we go. If I want to, I can like put down another colony. Might as well. And I don't feel like working on it right now, but it's on the planet. Eco disaster. Furry creatures from the herd. On thice. Okay. We'll go help him. I don't know if this counts as a mission, but if it does, we're gonna do it. of your planets need uh, some terraforming. Needs to be heated up. I mostly have cold right now. Hmm. We're gonna have to buy like a bunch of tools. Let's see. As I travel to these planets. Oh. Thank you. We can buy a wormhole travel if we wanted to. I'm gonna head to you. Because you have another planet in your solar system and I can jump between them to buy materials. Alright, what do we need? What do we need? Lowers the atmosphere, raises temperature. Lowers temperature, raises temperature. All right. Come over here. We should be expanding to more systems as well. That's also a mission type, but... <sighs> that involves me terraforming. For my own, like, min maxi. so then I have to find a plant that I actually want. Eh. Might as well do it. Alright. You guys are not buying it for as much anymore. I'm going to sell it one more time to you guys. I'm going to buy your two colonies. And we're going to leave you alone. So you're not buying it for what we used to sell it to you for. Which is fine. It's fine. Um, I don't think we're producing green spice as well in this empire. Lower atmosphere, raise temperature. We got that. Perfect. 
We got another one on deck if need be. And we're going to do it anyways. Just curse splash into the ocean. We've melted the ocean. <laughs> Ooh. 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 We just got smashed by an electrical storm right there. that there. That was actually highly painful. Alright, this planet's never seen things. So. Simple as us dropping one of everything. I wish I had my, my count on EA because then we'd have different creatures, but can't figure out the login for the life of me. Here, buy it. Take it. All right. Now we just need to do one more planet. Are you guys selling anything? Eating or cooling? Eating. Cooling. Nice. We've expanded the empire. Yellow. Yellow. Another green. Which is a hot planet. Oh, super hot planet. Okay. First of all. What we can do is put you down and actually buy from you as well. gonna give this planet an atmosphere. Based on my energy, I can just buy more from our colony that we just set up. Oh, I hate that they keep calling. <laughs> All right, now let's cool it. That might be good. There it is. We got a heat ray. Very nice. And we got another promotion. We are now legendary. And as we did before. This is just like the min maxi. Pick it up right after because it's going to start growing on the planet really rapidly. And we'll have it for the next planet. And now we've stabilized. Very nice, very nice. Two herbivores. And then. The carnivore. Monolith and Bioprotector. So the Monolith is cool because I believe we can drop that on creatures to make them go directly into space. Uh, Placing planet slow down rate of eco disasters. Very nice. Just selling a Monolith. I want to read it. Yeah, there we go. Travel our civilized planet to uplift the species on that planet. So we can move them up like 
into space if we want to see someone get into space. So heat ray, very important. Is there a cooling ray? Refrigeration ray. Very nice. And we're going to buy a monolith while we're at it. <laughs> we're going to go drop it and bring a species into the space. I just got to find one. There we go. Travel species here. We're going to go drop a monolith on them. <laughs> going to go drop knowledge bombs on this on these <laughs> unsuspecting tribal peoples. We have dropped large knowledge bombs on these peoples. So, we'll remember these guys in the next episode. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. I've been Demo. Have a wonderful day, everybody.